So, we have the Bucks playing against the much improved Toronto Raptors, especially after the Jakob Pearl trade. And it was a great matchup, man. Brook Lopez started off really hard and it was great to see these teams play, man. The ball movement is so much better with these uh, Raptors as they got Jakob Pearl. The obviously space creation is much better. They are also shooting better. Which is also due to how better the spacing is with Jakob Pearl, funny enough, right? Jakob Pearl. And it's it's been wonderful to watch, man. They have been playing really well. Shame Scotty Barnes got injured today, but we'll talk about it after the game. Well, after the highlights. Gary Trent Jr. stepped up in his place and knocks down the three-pointer here. And the Raptors are, you know, in the lead here. Janis dunks it as he was on his, well... Uh, Jokic type beat stuff. I don't know how to leave, how to describe it better. Brook Lopez, man, turned it up here in this fourth quarter. He he was dominating, man. He took over this fourth quarter, and it's shame for Toronto because they were playing really well. But Brook Lopez just has been so special defensively this year, and he was special defensively and on offense tonight. Another bucket for him here. He gets the easy layup to go. Five point lead for the Bucks, and well, the turnovers did the Raptors in, in this game. And here's a rough, rough, rough turnover here where you just gotta catch that ball. But uh, unfortunate for the Raptors, they have been playing really good ball and are looking really good. They're, I mean, they're gonna be a tough first round series in a way, for sure. Not sure how many games will they win, but they'll be in a lot of those games. In the first round. I, I, I'm counting on them making the playoffs, of course. It's not guaranteed, but I, I believe they'll make the playoffs. I I do, actually. As well, the Hawks just look rough, to say the least. And you also have the Heat there. It's going to be tough for them, of course. But I would bet on them making the playoffs instead of the other teams as of right now. We'll see how the rest of the regular season goes. As I said, Brook Lopez, 26 points, 2 blocks, 9 of 15. Spectacular night from him. Giannis with the perfect triple-double, 22, 13 and 10 with 2 blocks. But I felt like he didn't play a good game, to be quite honest with you. Not up to his standards, but he did get the W in the end. But wasn't the best Giannis we have seen, for sure. Chris Middleton played really good, though, 28-5. Four turnovers, needs to do better in that regard, but hey, turnovers just come along with the job when you are one of the lead ball handers. Juru had a rough night also. Funny enough, this was more of a depth win, right? Javon Carter has the... I don't know, man. Javon Carter just pulls up from transition like he's Steph Curry. It's, it's hilarious to me always. I mean, he can make some of them, but it, it baffles me, man, actually. <laughs> how he always just he always pulls up with the weirdest shot you'll ever see man i mean i guess it's, it's a strategy but it's not been not working i don't know man i don't know how i feel about that but hey if it ain't broke don't fix it and shout out Bobby port is here a really good game while the Raptors, uh, you know, the X-rays came back negative for Scotty Barnes, which is a real positive because he has been balling out. Question is how long he'll be out. We don't know yet. Freddie was really good for the first three quarters, then just stopped making shots. Also, the defense was played better by the Bucks, but hey, it's always a little bit of both, right? Some of those shots were going in in the first three quarters. Some of them just weren't in that fourth quarter, unfortunately. Pascal has been really rough since the All-Star break. Man, he's a, he had a great game last time, but he has had a really, really rough stretch. It's not been pretty for him. Jakob with 20 and 6 didn't have his best night as a Raptor for sure. OG Anunobi continues to impress after the All-Star break. He's been hooping and Gary Trent shot the ball well from three-point line, but anytime he went... Anywhere else it wasn't pretty as well. And Will Barton needs to... I don't know, man. Will Barton in those 30 minutes was absolutely nasty. That was some nasty hoops. And he needs to do better. 